I didn't do it. Splendid. Don't go, Gordon. I've got a city to say. <laughs> Please, Jim. You have to let me in. I can't. It's too much. I'm the best friend you have, Spandex, or whatever my suit is. You can trust me. It's... It's my mustache. Your mustache? Waller ordered me to shave it. Jeff, how dare she? It's a symbol of justice, like the little hammers judges use. You think I don't know that, the Batman? I've had it since I was a baby. I can help, Jim. I have sharp batarangs. No! This is my burden to bear. I need one final night with my best facial feature. Alone. I want to feel it rustle the breeze that comes off the bay. Maybe get pizza cheese stuck in it for one last time. Jim, I'm... I'm sorry. It's okay. I hope you never know boss like this. <laughs> what if I grew a mustache for you? Batman! Hi! Hello! So, uh, John. My name's John. John Doe. You don't know me. Well, we actually did cross paths once, but, uh... What did you overhear? I, I didn't hear anything. I just got here, I swear. Oh, this is just... What a pleasure. It's so nice to finally meet you. It's just a handshake. Nice to meet you, John. Wow, quite a grip you've got there. You must squeeze a stress ball a lot. I've been waiting over a year for that moment. I'm just such a huge fan of yours. And here you are, in the flesh. <laughs> I'm looking for mentors, role models. I've come across a few good candidates. You're, you're Batman. <laughs> I don't take on students. Now hold on! Before you accept, here's what I bring to the table. I can get you Riddler's laptop. All his secrets right there! And the gang who attacked the convoy, they needed to pull off a big score. The point. So what if I steal it from Harley Quinn, no less? Give it to you. But, uh, and, and, this is, and this is a big but. I need you to promise nothing bad will happen to Harley. I mean, letting one criminal slip through the cracks every once in a while can't be the worst thing. Nothing will happen to her. You have my word. All right, good. I'm trusting you on this one. Now, when you're on the job, what's the preferred method of extracting a target? Always repelling in, or explosives as a distraction, or... You know what? I'll wing it. If I were you, I'd get a friend to help. That's a great idea! I hope Bruce is there. He'd do anything for me. Oh, one last thing! <laughs> Like these, they mean a lot to me. This is gonna look great on my wall. Thank you. Laptop behind the stack deck. I'll be there. Promise. Hope to die. You won't be disappointed.
You speak, but all I hear are lies! To dishonor yourself, Timothy. If you are the rat, then wear it proud! I would have respect for that, and with respect comes mercy. Greetings, Wayne. Come with me. As a fellow apostle of technology, I thought you might appreciate this. Bane and I were acquiring components for a device I'll need once we get to the Black Site. Device? Yes, an ice explosive for the fire failsafe we anticipate encountering. That isn't the impressive detail. As we ran into interference, I determined I would be more efficient if I made smaller versions and employed them as projectiles. Who were they? Hindrances. As you can see, it's been wildly successful. Perhaps Wayne Enterprises could benefit from my efforts. We live in a twisted world, Bruce. Better to abide than struggle against it in vain. One more time, my friend. Why did an alarm go off when it was your job to ensure it didn't? Vane, come on! I, I slipped up! Dangerous time to make a mistake when you knew I was looking for a mole. You're trying to slow us down! No! Look, I want to get paid just like you! I got mouths to feed! Then, when the police arrived, you were nowhere to be found! I... You know I'm no traitor. I stood up for you, remember? Come on, man. We have to stand together on this. Just think. Remember? Yeah, sure. Pretty bold move. Good, yeah, yeah. Now, now why, why would I do that if I was dirty? I'd have thrown you to the wolves to cover my ass, right? Oh, 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 a deft turn. But it's not enough to save you. In fact, your awareness of how to deceive only creates more suspicion. What the hell is going no, no, on here? No, 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 no! no. Ah! Merely plugging their leak. God damn it, Bane. You running your own investigation? You gonna get little business cards printed that say Detective Bane now? Hey, 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 hey. Hold on. Why are you complaining? I didn't get a chance to grill the guy. I'm a trained psychiatrist. What are you? A side of beef with a hunch? I'll find the rat, and I'll deal with it. You can't be trusted to run your men anymore. They're mine now. Got Yours? It? <laughs> I freed them from Santa Prisca! You just killed one. I only shot him. Who do you think wins that recruitment war? They won't follow you. What do you want, John? Right. The laptop. This seems like the perfect time. You don't know for sure it was him, so now what? They know the cost. I value loyalty above all else. You know who's gonna have a tough time being loyal now? That guy. Just keep her busy. I have to sneak into her office to get it. And uh, it's all yours. Yep. Getting it for my old buddy Bruce. And only you. Promise. Sound like a plan. Up top. Yes, that was a good one. Hey, you two. What's going on with you guys? Harley! What a surprise! You guys get me a black site location or not? The answer had better be yes, Harley. We didn't find the location to the black site yet, but we did uncover the code name for whatever you're after. Project Lotus, ring any bells. And what is Project Lotus? What do you want? Shouldn't you be informing your men they work for me now? You? You can't even keep these two from colluding. Couldn't? 
Are you kidding me? He's loyal to a fault. I'm loyal, Harley. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Because I want to be. Because I'm being myself. The mole, Bane's men, you maybe, possibly, potentially can't handle it alone. <laughs> you have a problem, and I want to help. You time out. And you, we need to talk. <laughs> Bruce, Bruce, Bruce. This here is one of my favorite toys. Helps me make boring things into pretty things. Can you be a smart guy and guess another one of my favorite toys? Come on, you can do it. Think hard. You mean your hammer? <laughs> Good guess, but no, it's John. You two are getting a little too close for comfort. So I'm making a new rule. Hands off. Point is, John's mine, and mine alone. So don't play with my toys, or I'll bash in that pretty face of yours. Alfred, get a suit ready for drop-off. Of course. Was your accomplice successful? Looks like. I'm on my way to meet him now. Keep the drones on alert. They're online and overhead, sir. Don't let your guard down. <sighs> He's here. telling me not to do it, and then the bat on the other whispering, Just get it, John. <sighs> or did you have the halo and Harley the horns? You must run across this in your line of work. How do you deal with doing something good when you might be hurting someone you love? Because it certainly didn't feel good. Quite the opposite, in fact. I serve the greater good, John. I can't let my feelings get in the way of that. If someone I care about is on the wrong side, that makes them my enemy. A black and white world. <laughs> so much easier to parse. I did bring the thing, by the way. Don't you worry. Perseus, I bring you the Gorgon's head. Is Batman happy? You, you look pretty happy. Well, I'm happy. I did something for you. Maybe you uh, could do something for me. Like? Teach me. Anything. What about those uh, boomerangs you have? I promised only use it for, you know, hero things. Probably. <laughs> Please? Pretty please. Fine. <laughs> so awesome! Batarang. Long range weapon. Effective. Dangerous. Nailed it! Dead on! 
Your turn. On my hand. Oh gosh. <laughs> my hands are sweaty. Use your free hand to help you aim. It'll follow your elbow. Don't overthink it. Just throw. Yeah. Oh, dang! It's okay. Practice makes perfect. Can I... Can I keep it? I'm going to throw it a hundred times a day until I get it. I'm working with you, Batman. It's just been... Wow. What I meant to say is... Uh, it's, it's been an honor. If you ever need someone to watch your back, you know I'm good with a batarang. And I have a lot of guns, too. If that helps. This is exciting. A new leaf. To new beginnings. Yeah, we'll celebrate later, then. Do you have a cape guy? Because I was thinking about updating my look. I'm your man on the street. Literally. Selena. I had nowhere else to go. I guess I was a fool for thinking I'd be safe here. How did you get inside? Just what are you insinuating, Bruce? That I broke in? Well, I mean... Did you? No, genius. I was invited in. Maybe we should just start from the beginning. What happened? I'm glad you're here, Bruce. Miss Kyle is injured. I dress the wound as best I can. I trust you told him about your motorcycle accident? I was just about to. <laughs> Hope you don't mind me tending to her wounds. I couldn't turn her away. Not in her condition. Not at all. Thanks for taking care of her. You've been so good to me, Al. I don't know how I would ever repay you. But of course. I hate to ask, but would you mind giving Bruce and I a second to talk? How can I refuse? I'm worried about him, Bruce. I'm pretty sure he's on the verge of a nervous breakdown. And you don't want to be the one who pushes him over the edge. Alfred, you're the one bleeding on my couch, Selena. It's not as bad as it looks. Uh, could have fooled me. Whoa, what are you doing? Relax. I'm just changing out the bandage. Be a doll and hand me a clean piece of gauze. Been through two dressings already. I guess it could have been worse. <laughs> there. Good as new. So, do you want to tell me what really happened? We both know you didn't get this from a motorcycle accident. I was ambushed by your friend Gordon tonight. Thought you knew. You and Gordon are so tight. He must have mentioned he was coming after me. Yeah, I heard. He told me he was coming after you. I suspected as much. Why didn't you warn me? I know we haven't always seen eye to eye, it's just... I never thought you would give me up. Not to the cops. I... I honestly don't know. I wonder if you know why you do anything at all. Listen, this little game we play, you know I've always enjoyed it. The tit for tat. It's fun. But tonight, you've taken it too far. Way too far. I 
I came here, hoping you would make it up to me by giving me access to Harley's laptop. Why is the laptop so important to you? I wanted to get payback for Riddler, on my own terms. I let my temper get the best of me. But this is bigger than my vendetta. I want to find that black site, before they do. The laptop is useless without Riddler's decryptor. Good thing I brought it then. You have the goggles too? Not so fast. What are you offering me in return? You know when it comes to me, nothing is for free. You give me the decryptor and we will crack this code together. I promise. Okay. I'll give it to you. But on one condition. What do you want from me, Selena? I want you to admit that you need my help. I want you to say, Selena, I need you. I can't do this without you. Say it and it's yours. Selena, I need you. And? I can't do this without you. No, you can't. I'd like to keep this professional. You're a friend. But that's all. Sorry, did you think I was... <laughs> that's not what I meant. So, what now? Are we gonna crack Riddler's laptop together or not? I'm not on a line here. Don't leave me hanging. Come downstairs with me. What's downstairs? You'll see. Coming. <laughs>